Welcome to Queen's TV Profiles. My name is Alyssa, and today we're here with Chef Michael Smith. So welcome to the show. Thank you. So first of all, my mom wanted me to tell you that on behalf of her, she thanks you for teaching my dad how to cook. Okay. <laughs> So, thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, so, we're here on the first anniversary of the Canadian Grilling Company. So, why did you decide to open it up at Queen's and are you happy with its results in its first year? I absolutely am happy with what we've achieved. We're showing the world that you can you can actually do this sort of food in the middle of a giant food service <laughs> operation like this. Yeah. You know, the, the best way of looking at this is it would be very easy for a guy like me to open a restaurant on some random street corner anywhere in Canada. For sure. But the challenges you face as an independent versus the challenges that we face within the Queen's University of Food Service are two different things. And this is where change needs to happen at this level. And we're showing that you can do it. So I'm very proud of what we've done this year. That's great. So there are not a lot of celebrity Canadian chefs out there. So how do you feel being one of the few? <laughs> you know, I don't think of myself that way. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a cook, obviously. Yeah. And I'm a chef, too. I'm very proud of that. But look, i got to go home and cook family meals. You know, yeah. i got to go home and wash the dishes and take out the garbage. So I, I, don't, I don't think of myself as a celebrity, really. I'm just a cook. So you've had a lot of shows on the Food Network. What is it like running a cooking show and being in front of the camera with doing food? Well, two different things, running the show and being in front of the yeah. camera. And I'm one of the only, I'm in fact, the only guy in the country that produces my own show, so I know what okay. both of those are like. Yeah. Uh, being in front of the camera, as you know, and what your viewers can't see right now, <laughs> yeah. there's a whole bunch of us here right now. Oh, it yeah. takes a team. Yes. In my case, it takes about 35 people to put together my show, and everybody's got a role, and everybody does their own thing, and I'm blessed that I get to work with quite four professionals, you know, very creative people yeah. who are passionate about what they do. On my side of the lens, I feel blessed because I really genuinely care for Canadians and teaching food is my passion. For sure. So I feel very blessed to have that opportunity. So related to that, you've also written a lot of cookbooks like the one here. Thank you. Um, how do you get the inspiration to write all of the recipes for all of the cookbooks that you've written over the years? Well, inspiration comes in many forms. Um, certainly writing cookbooks is, is one of the most detailed things that I do over the run of the year. We publish a book like this every single year. But I think in my case, and in many people's case, inspiration is 99% is having an open mind, being open to ideas when they come. And you never know when they're going to come. They can come out anywhere, any day, randomly, from any particular source. So, I really strongly feel, though, that when you have that open mind you know, as, a, as a creative person, a lot of it is just having that mind and being open to ideas as they come. For sure. So, lastly, as a chef, you've probably eaten and made a lot of interesting dishes. What is the most interesting thing you've had, and what is your favorite food just in general? Well, let's see. <laughs> would, it, would it be the uh, reindeer blood tea north of the Arctic Circle in Sweden, or perhaps the Candy crickets in Tokyo, or maybe the uh, the fermented cassava root milk that we chewed up in our mouths and spit out in, in Brazil in the Amazon rainforest. Would it be those? <laughs> yeah, not really. I mean, for me, I, I really crave simplicity in food. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of the reason I did have a burger joint here in Queens. Yeah. You know, I had a dinner last night in Ottawa at a restaurant where we sat for, for three and a half hours wow. and had 12 courses. By the end of the meal, we had over 150 different flavors. That's crazy. It's, it is crazy. It's too much. It's not for me. I'm glad I'm not the dishwasher. So thank you for being on the show today. And thank you for watching QTV Profiles.